welcome to version 3.0 of the Tau CT Preset Manager. To use the Tau CT Preset Manager, we will first have to look a little bit into how it works. The core component of the Preset Manager is the so-called stack. And the stack basically is a collection of references to different parameters. To add a parameter, you either way simply drag and drop a parameter of any component into the stack. And as you will see, it will get added. And what you can also do when you use custom parameters for your components, you can just drop the complete custom operator into the stack and all custom parameters will be added. After adding the parameters to the stack, you can now change different aspects. For one, you can adjust the preload setting, which is default to false. Um, the preload setting is not fully implemented yet, but it could be used in theory, uh, marking parameters to be loaded uh, in different scenarios in uh, zero time. The second thing you can change is the type. Uh, normally you want to use it with a fading, uh, but you can also adjust it to be a so-called start snap, meaning that the moment you recall the preset, the value will be set and not be interpolated over time. Or you can set it to end snap, end snap meaning that after all the values have been set uh, in the given time, we uh, set the value in zero seconds. This, of course, is only possible for fadeable parameters like floats, integers, uh, and the like. Uh, everything else, like strings and menus, um, can only be changed between start snap and end snap. What you also see is that it's a relative path. So you can put the preset manager inside your custom component and uh, move it freely around because uh, it's completely uh, relative. If you don't want to have the references relative, you can always change the path relation in the master uh, settings page here. So we can set it to absolute and now you see that we use the absolute path, which is also sometimes what you want. It is also possible to deactivate the UI here. Uh, which just turns everything off, um, can be useful when you're using one of the many companion components and uh, have no changing stack. So let's uh, store a preset. To store a preset, you simply put in a name. So we call this preset1. And we then click the record button here. And you see already that it now has an underscore. This is because every preset is now its own operator. And um, you will basically have to live with that. So uh, let's adjust some values here. Move this around, make the color maybe uh, some more red and some more blue here. And let's call this one now our preset. Two. To recall a preset now, we can simply use the drop-down menu here to select our preset again, or we can put in the name ourselves if we want to. So to go back to preset 1, our first preset, we now can simply use the recall button here, and when we press it in the background, you can see that the values will get adjusted just fine. So let's do it again and works nicely. The second one is, uh, of course, you can adjust the time also to, to zero seconds if you just want to set the value in no time. So let's do that. Or uh, you can increase the time uh, as much as you want. The next thing you might want to do is uh, remove a preset or delete it. So simply select it, press the remove button, and there will be no warning. So make sure that you remove the preset you really want to remove. And as you can see, we uh, easily remove the preset. 
The next one, because when you work with more than one component or more than one stack per uh, manager, which is no longer necessary, uh, you can simply use the clear stack method here. And with the clear stack method, uh, you simply remove all the references to parameters inside the stack. The uh, next part is uh, when you want to retrieve the stack from an already existing preset, you can uh, either way use the stack from preset method. This will again reference the selected preset here in our drop down menu. So we press stack from preset and the references uh, will get reloaded. What you can also do when you have the cleared uh, component is you can activate the load stack. Um, in the recall here and when we do this uh, you can see when recalling the preset we will also automatically load the component in. To remove all existing presets you can call the clear presets. This will give you a warning because uh, it will definitely delete everything. So it might be a good idea before you do that to use the export function to export a tox and inside of this tox will only be tables with all the references in the parameter. So uh, enjoy and also check out one of the other videos regarding the Telcity preset system because there are some companions to make the life much easier using the preset system.